Hi there, it's Polly here, and uh, with my traveling companion, Mr. Snoots. Me! Uh, and um, as you can see, we're not in Ohio. Uh, this is uh, Wat Tom, which is uh, part of the massive sort of general complex you'd hear referred to as Angkor Wat, but this is actually the cool one. Uh, this is the one with all the groovy human faces carved and everything that you can see behind me. It's older, it's 11th century fantastic place it is a work of art and indeed works of art is what brings us here today I want to do a review for you and I wanted I waited to do this here because I love the designer I love the game and I wanted to do it in probably one of the coolest places on earth okay to do Hell Knight by Gabriel Quiroga and his team um, this is a spectacularly good game. Game design is an art. Page layout is an art. This game combines the design and the page layout to become a unique piece of art. It's something that you kind of don't so much sit down and read as experience. And it's beautiful. The page layout has been lovingly done in wonderfully crazy, chaotic kind of scissors and paper layout. And it is what car carries a lot of just the communication of the whole geist of the game, as you can see. Um, so the information is being conveyed to you graphically as well as through the written word. Uh, it's interspliced with little bits of um, story, impressions, tales left, right and centre, uh, little hints of action, snippets of movie or um, song lyric to give a guy. So you sort of, it's not something you just sit down and read through in the normal dull way with a game and just absorb the information. You kind of get it bit by bit, you absorb it. This is, the game's design's like a meal. You, you want to kind of save your way through it and get more and more of a flavour. So, the basic idea of this, Hell Knight. So, you're all servants of hell. Demons, um, sinners, uh, revenants, someone working for hell. What's happened is, an angel's appeared at the gates of hell and has basically said, Archons, which are senior demons, have been escaping hell and wreaking havoc on earth. Heaven's going to come down and basically kick your asses and smash hell to bits. Unless you do something about this and start putting this crap right. So, agents are being sent out to try and track down these rogue demons and bring them home. Or wipe them out. Either works. You're all demons or whatever, you're fairly horrible. This, the setting is a kind of heavy metal 1980s and the whole kind of geist of the thing was sort of in many ways was it was pushed to sort of like um, biker gang punk. Um, so to really get into the mood for this I would honestly suggest that you do something like read um, Hunter S. Thompson's Hell's Angels, watch a couple of movies. Airheads, Brendan Fraser, excellent because it gives you that kind of rocker lifestyle uh, feel. Um, Constantine, brilliant movie, watch that one, you know, that's, that's really 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 worthwhile. Um, and just to give you the kind of demon hunting feel, um, Nick Cave, Ghost Rider, just cause, hey it's Nick, but you know also, yeehaw, let's ride. Um, and even if you can find it, the young ones, just to kind of get the 80s vibe on. Young Ones is a British comedy series set in the 80s. Students, if you haven't seen it, do it. So, your characters, you've got several different um, styles of character to choose from, classes. You can be um, Reapers who are like, you know, hellish combatants. You can be um, various types of sinners that have been given to jobs by hell. Uh, all kinds of different classes. Each of these has got its own little um, powers and edges that you randomly roll or can choose. You will probably get a hell ride, some kind of wonderful, hideous, carnivorous vehicle. It could be a chopper with like, you know, a, a, a chrome animal skull on the front. Um, 
And, uh, yeah, if you pop the tank, it's full of blood. And, you know, this thing will bite people if they go near it. And, you know, it's, it's a living, demonic entity that's your hell ride. Um, or it could be a classic muscle car or something. Depends on the vibe of the character. So, to design a character, you take a number of points. You'll be splitting these really just between, I think, three characteristics. There's guts, uh, there's style, and there's brains. Um... To round out the character, you sort of write out a motto, the motto you live by, you know, um, um, live fast, leave a ton of beautiful corpses behind you, I don't know, whatever. Um, and um, your character class will also give you some randomised extra gear, armour, these sorts of things. So, But you do write down what your style is. What are you? Uh, you could be a sort of a hot biker chick. You could be sort of, you know, um, hellish grungy thing with a half decayed face. You could be, you know, entirely... F some of the random things for the characters will, will give you things like your wreathed in flames or this and that. Humans tend to edit out some of the stuff that they don't particularly understand when they see it. So um, you can still move around even if you look fairly hellish. But the book at the start comes with a QR code that you can scan to get music to back up your sessions with and they suggest that each session play some music because that's part of this thing um, it's not just a game you sit down and play like the art led you into understanding the game I think other senses should lead you into experiencing the game so each game should be accompanied with you know definitely music you're gonna want your motorhead for this uh, they're looking for 80s kind of heavy metal biker punk kind of stuff so uh, um, ministry uh, Jesus built my hot rod can't go wrong I just want a shamalama dong my shamalama ding dong etc um, but I got QR codes and they, they keep building the list there's a Facebook page worlds of Kuroga which has additional music that they keep finding for this but you also might want to include some sort of hellish hellish snacks and so on just to add the taste experience in probably some kind of crap 80s food Doritos with you know far too many chilies in the dip and uh, you know but there are generators for coming up with different um, different scenarios but essentially you're given a job of some sort you kicked out or you have to find your way out of hell using your hell ride and find these bad boys and bring them back now it's a little world structure so there's hell and it does give you a rundown on hell it's basically a pain in the ass um, there's limbo which is kind of the littoral zone between dream worlds possibilities heaven hell and the mortal world whoa go away fuck off seriously fuck off fuck off i mean it no sorry monkey's trying to get into my bag he can fuck off and there's a uh, there's a there's a hellism for you right there no i'm not joking mate fuck off um so, yeah, lots of good generators, lots of good um, generators for the different locations that you might be in. He um, heaven, hell, limbo has its own problems, and the mortal world is just an assault on the senses. I saw that sodding monkey just then. Um, yeah, um, this stuff just kind of like bashes at you. You're demons, you're not used to this stuff, the music, the food. Yeah, the smell of petrol racing down the roads, it's, it's kind of like seductive. You can leave a hideous train of bodies behind you if you want, or not, if you don't want, whatever turns you on. Um, now, core system, robust and simple. It's a 2d6 roll. You're trying to get underneath that characteristic you've chosen. So, you know, if you've got gut six, roll six or less. You can... There's a characteristic called grit which is kind of half your brains. This is a resource that you can burn during the course of the entire um, game. You can burn one to re-roll one of your two dice, so you can try and turn a failure into a success, but you have to describe how somehow you changed uh, disaster into victory. Um, there's got to be a, um, a whole thing happening there. Um, the other thing is you can use these grit points for stunts. And um, again, a stunt allows you to achieve amazing things, but you have to describe how you achieve the amazing things. Um, 
damage is all built into your combat rolls. Um, if you succeed at your damage roll, remembering you're rolling low, the damage is equal to the highest of the two dice that you rolled, with a bonus for whatever your um, your um, weapon gives you, gives you one or two or three. You'll get um, an interesting series of like randomly generated weapons, and they're all horrible. Everything from switch blades to having a um, a uh, chainsaw arm, wreathing yourselves in flames, plague flies. Whee! Um, you can get armor, everything from kind of biker leathers to you know strange medieval chain mail to sort of bio suits made out of you know bones and skulls and whatever. Subtracts off the damage. Uh, if you roll double sixes uh, and double ones, you can get uh, critical hits. There's fantastic critical hits which are they're specific to the weapon, be it piercing, slashing, bullets, etc. And there's also critical failures which you know can spread harm to your friends and buddies or yourself or just break your weapons or do all this sort of stuff so fantastic stuff um, your enemies have a level and the level subtracts from your dice roll so if you're trying to roll an eight or less but it's a level three opponent you subtract from your level you're gonna have to roll a five or less you roll both for making attacks and receiving attacks and you also roll for your enemy's action so you don't your enemy doesn't roll to hit you you roll to basically dodge or avoid the enemy's attack so everything's rolled out there on the table there's no fudging by the umpire to sort of go lenient on you so could be could be deadlier than like your normal sort of play where the umpire can be a, a wee bit kind um so um there's great charts for what happens if you crash your ride, you know, all these sorts of different things. Um, it's um, it's a beautifully done game. The, um, the thing comes with plenty of colour, not just that wonderful graphic layout that gives you the idea, but little slices of, like, mission reports, um, you know, babbles from different demons, uh, people talking about different cases they've been on, etc. Now... The bad guys are these Archons. These are all senior guys in Hell. Often they've been ones that have ruled a section of Hell, a circle of Hell, or whatever. They've all started off, and they're having fun on Earth. They're spreading power. Some of them are scheming to replace the Dark Master. And on some of the random mission generators, some of them can be, the Dark Master has disappeared. He's just gone. You've got to find him. Now, they might be tooling around as themselves. But many of them, you generate powers for these Archons. Some, many of them are shapeshifters. Many of them can do all kinds of things, control minds. There are clues that they're around because they all have a randomly generated thing that happens around them. It might be electronic devices start creating white noise. Or it might be you know, all animals are fleeing the area or there's lots of carrion flies or something. But these things, not necessarily a person. They could be a building where terrible things are going on. That's what they're masquerading as. Or a vehicle. Or they might be a radio station. Everyone's listening to the broadcast from the radio station is starting to, you know, go crazy and murder people. You know, it's it's up to you to get you know, quite imaginative. They've got some random generators and these snippets and things to sort of give you the give you the idea and move you on. Um, so a spectacular game it really is. Uh, it's one that I'm going to just plunge in and run. I know my players would love it. Many games out there. It's very hard to read them and get ideas. What am I going to do? What are the adventures? What are the little things that make the adventures? In this case, they just come flooding out. As you're reading it, that combination of bits of written story and the graphic layout immediately get you thinking about what you're going to do. And yeah, 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 I'll do this for my players. And, and you know that the characters that they're playing is going to generate its own mayhem. Ah, they're going to bust into places, they're going to get involved with biker gangs, they're going to like, you know, burst through walls on their flaming skull-headed chopper, you know, with a uh, with a blazing silver chain wailing around their, their head yet. And it's going to generate its own fun. There is character advancement in this. Um, and, uh, you know, it is something set up. They can keep doing campaigns. And, of course, there can be long-running campaigns. Like, where's the boss? What's he doing? And after you guys have like finished a few things let's get the dark master back before like these celestials kick our ass or maybe maybe it's time we kicked theirs the world's your oyster
and that's what I like about this it's not a set story and even the basic premises of it if the layout and the stories and the images and this give you better ideas plunge in and just do it run it your way and do your thing but hell night just get out there plenty of graphics at the back of this that they obviously had great fun doing kind of bat out of hell style you know record covers and so on as adverts for this so look, this is a really splendid game uh, the system is simple and easy gets you playing the random sort of character generations and gets you right in there so easy to come up with really cool character concepts get your 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 hell gang together get on your hell ride you have to go plunging into limbo somewhere to to find a gate through to the mortal world and to come back you've got to have a hell ride to find your way back these gateways are hidden in things old tunnels um you know flaming ruins gates of Auschwitz whatever you know they're hard to find often ever shifting uh so you know just riding through these hellscapes is fun itself and has its own random generators for adventures um just a game you can plunge in and use uh, another thing i do like by the way is that where they've had charts and tables that are useful they remind you there'll be a section on how to do a adventure and it'll remind you use table on town on page nine use table on page 13 to do this to do this to do this so you know you're not like oh damn i saw a table for that somewhere it also comes with like a little fold out um dm's screen in here and uh that um see didn't get, didn't get hit by the monkey and neither did mr snoots um yeah they um so and that's got the most relevant charts and tables on it of course and remind us of where to find the good ones yay so hell night brilliant piece of work and like i said game design is an art but the presentation of games is often not treated as an art form this one treated the presentation of the game itself as an art form and it's a major part of the communication of the feel of the game a good game is trying to take you on an emotional ride and this game does that not just through the written word but through graphic presentation and on that score i think this is a work of genius so anyway uh, I'm in the depths of Cambodia, apparently battling with sodding wildlife. I've already dodged two bats today. All right, so I'll keep wandering. Gabriel Kroger's Hell Knight. Find it. You absolutely won't regret it. The link's down below. Go and find it. Get on your hell ride and make things burn. <laughs> and uh, yeah, cue up some motorhead. Okay, bye.